We're going to head on over to our top story tonight. Guilty on all 10 counts. A Norfolk jury found Zeonte Palmer guilty of shooting and killing three women and injuring two others in the Young Terrace neighborhood back in 2021. The jury deliberated for four hours today. News 3's Erica Craven was at the trial and has reaction from the courthouse. It's been four long days in the courtroom and now for the victim's families, children supporting each other and loved ones breathing a sigh of relief. Finally got what we deserve. We can't ask for yes. nothing even better than what it was. There was not a doubt in my mind that the jury would do the right thing considering the evidence that was presented against the defendant. The evidence was built out by the Commonwealth over the week convincing the jury that Zion T. Palmer shot and killed Nicole Lovevine, Deetra Brown and Sarah Costney and injured Angel Legrand and Shazel Dixon. The evidence included graphic security footage of the shooting and physical evidence left at the scene. Uh, this is one of the most heartbreaking and aggravated crimes we've had in Norfolk over the last 15 or 20 years. So mothers murdered in front of their children, pregnant women and good Samaritans murdered and wounded. Defense attorney Eric Corslan said the case was heartbreaking for the victims and also the defendant's family. Obviously, a uh, very tough time for his mom and stepfather. He had a tremendous show of support throughout the entire trial. They were very graceful. And Corslan spoke to Palmer's calm demeanor throughout the trial. Um, internally, I can't say he's very calm, but um, he's very collected, very calm throughout the process, very cooperative, very polite. Um, people uh, react differently. The Commonwealth will be recommending life in prison. Recommending a life sentence is one of the most uh, serious decisions that any prosecutor can make. Uh, in Norfolk, the only person who can make that decision is me. And I've only authorized the seeking of a life sentence in two cases since I took office because it should be reserved for the most serious and the most aggravated cases or else it loses all meaning. This is one of those two cases. And while difficult for those watching the trial, they're now able to turn attention to remembering those lost. She spoke with a smile. Palmer is scheduled to be sentenced in February. His attorney says he'll likely file an appeal. In Norfolk, Erica Craven, News 3.